Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on enlargement, which is one of our four transformations. In mathematics, we have the four transformations, rotation, enlargement, remember not to be fooled with the word large, sometimes it can make the shape smaller. We also have reflection and we have translation. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at enlargement with a negative scale factor. So let's have a look at some key words. Well, enlarging a shape changes its size. To enlarge a shape, a center of enlargement and a scale factor is required. Remember, a scale factor is the ratio of sizes of two similar figures. The scale factor is what we multiply by to make the object larger or smaller. And the center of enlargement. The position of the enlarged shape is described by the center of enlargement. And we looked at that in the previous video. So let's concentrate on a negative scale factor. Well, the concept of negative enlargement can be illustrated with a good old fashioned camera. Here the image is captured through a lens and it's inverted. The top is shown on the bottom of the film and the bottom is shown on the top of the film. This film is called a negative because everything is the opposite on the other side of the lens. It's the same as enlarging by a negative scale factor. Basically, the negative scale factor is where the shape has been enlarged on the other side of the center of enlargement and it's turned upside down. So let's have a look at a question to see what I mean. Here the question wants us to enlarge the shaded shape by a scale factor of minus one half with the center minus one minus two. So first let's identify our center of enlargement at minus one minus two. Then Let's identify the distance of each vertex from our center of enlargement. I'm going to start here. So from our center of enlargement, you can see this vertex went two to the right and four up from our center of enlargement. Now, given our scale factor is negative a half, this means we need to do the opposite and halve those distances. So two to the right and four up now becomes one to the left and two down. This is our new vertex. Now let's repeat again with another vertex. Here you can see from our center of enlargement, this vertex was six to the right and four up. Now remember, our scale factor is negative one half. So that means we do the opposite and half the lengths. So six to the right and four up now becomes three to the left and two down. This is our new vertex. Let's do the same with another vertex. Here you can see from the center of enlargement, we went six to the right and eight up. So if our scale factor is minus one half, we do the opposite and halve the lengths. So six to the right and eight up now becomes three to the left and four down. This becomes my new vertex. Now let's have a look at our last vertex. This is two to the right and six up. Our scale factor is minus one half, so we do the opposite and half. So two to the right, six up, now becomes one to the left and three down. Now you can see our enlarged shape by a scale factor of minus one half. Drawing our shape, you can see it is inverted and it's on the opposite side of our center of enlargement. Now it's important to check with our ray lines. So drawing our ray lines to our corresponding vertices, you can see we've gone through the center of enlargement. Now let's draw our other ray line to our other corresponding vertex. Same again, it's gone through our center of enlargement. Connecting another vertex, you can see it's also gone through the center of enlargement. Connecting our last vertex with its corresponding vertex, you can see all ray lines pass through the center of enlargement, verifying that our enlarged image is correct. So let's have a look at another question. Here the question wants to enlarge the triangle by a scale factor of minus one and a half with the center of zero two. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need.
Just like before, let's identify our centre of enlargement to be 0, 2. From here, let's count to each vertex. From the centre of enlargement to this vertex, you can see we've gone 2 to the right and 2 up. Now, given the scale factor is minus 1 half, this means we need to do the opposite and multiply our lengths by 1 and a half. So, 2 to the right and 2 up. Opposite and multiplying by 1 and a half gives us 3 to the left and 3 down. This is our new vertex. Now let's look at another vertex. From our centre of enlargement, you can see we've gone 4 squares up. So, given our scale factor is minus 1 and a half, we need to do the opposite and multiply by 1 and a half. So, the opposite of 4 up and multiply by 1 and a half gives us 6 down. This is my new vertex. My last vertex from my centre of enlargement is 2 to the right and 4 up. Same as before. The negative means we need to do the opposite and multiply by 1 and a half. So 2 to the right and 4 up. The opposite and multiplying by 1 and a half gives us 3 to the left and 6 down. This is my new vertex. Drawing my triangle from here, you can see it's inverted and is on the opposite side of our centre of enlargement. So let's check with our ray lines. Well, connecting our corresponding vertices, you can see we've gone through the centre of enlargement. Connecting this vertex to its corresponding vertex, you can see it's also gone through the centre of enlargement. Drawing my last ray line, you can see all the ray lines pass through the centre of enlargement, verifying I've correctly drawn an enlarged shape by a scale factor of minus one and a half. Now let's look at describing. The question wants us to describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle A to triangle B. Remember, we need to give a single transformation. You can see here it's clearly enlargement and we have a negative scale factor. So let's identify our scale factor first. Remember to work out the scale factor, it's the image length over the corresponding object length. So looking at our image B, we can count three squares, which is our top length. Now remember, the inverted length would be the bottom length, so the object length would be two squares. Therefore, the scale factor would be minus three over two, because the image length is three squares and the corresponding object length is two squares. Now let's find the center of enlargement by simply using our ray lines. Connecting our ray lines to the corresponding vertex, you can see that they cross over at the same point, verifying that my center of enlargement is 1, 1. So, when describing, it's enlargement by a scale factor of minus 3 over 2 with a center of 1, 1. Our last describing question wants us to describe fully the single transformation that maps A onto B. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. So let's find our scale factor first. Well, remember, to find the scale factor, it's the image length divided by the object length. Our image is triangle B. So let's start with this top length. Well, you can see the image top length is 2. And remember, it's inverted, so the corresponding object length is the bottom length. And this is 6. So the scale factor is the image length over the corresponding object length, which is minus 2 over 6. This can be cancelled down to give us a scale factor of minus 1 third. So let's find our centre of enlargement using our ray lines by connecting our corresponding vertices. Connecting one set of vertices, I have this line, and drawing another ray line, and connecting my last ray lines confirms that my centre of enlargement is at 2, 2. Therefore, answering the question, it's enlargement by a scale factor of minus one third 
with center 1, 1. So, in summary, we know there are four transformations, and enlargement questions can include positive or negative scale factors. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.